Ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. The Nintendo Direct came out this morning to all Dragon Quest fans' glory. We are getting Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake on November 14th of this year. I already pre-ordered myself the Collector's Edition. I am so stoked for this. Not only this, but we did get announced that the uh, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D Remake will be coming out next year, hopefully early next year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play those bad boys right now, damn it. I am so excited for this. The trailer, when you compare it to the original trailer uh, about four years ago of the game, my biggest worry was when I saw the original footage was that we were gonna get that Octopath Traveler 1 kind of like, almost like blurry background, kind of smudgy looking backgrounds, and kind of that opaque, or sepia tone color scheme to the game. This new trailer is so lush and vibrant with its colors and it's just crisp in its detail. I absolutely love what they've done with Dragon Quest 3. This looks fantastic. Uh, there's also hints that there's gonna be stuff from the Super Famicom games and more as I'll uh, get into in my next video. But for this video, let's talk about the uh, games I'm looking forward to that were announced in the Nintendo Direct this morning. We'll get into more Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake stuff after, at the end here, but let's talk about, I am not the biggest Zelda guy, but we got two Zelda games coming out. One is the A Link to the Past and Four Swords a uh, game for the Game Boy Advance is going to be on the Nintendo Switch Online, which is fantastic. And it's actually out right now. Like I said, not the biggest Zelda fan personally. I don't really like the 3D Zeldas, but I love me some Link to the Past and I love me some Four Swords. So this is going to be fun to play with friends. We can finally play online up to four players with Legend of Zelda, Four Swords, and Link to the Past. Link to the Past is... Probably my favorite Zelda game. Link Between Worlds was really damn good though, so they're kind of neck and neck. But I am looking forward to playing this one with some friends. And then we got announced a new Zelda game starring Zelda for the first time since the uh, garbage CDI game. It's called The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And you play as Zelda and you've got like kind of like summony powers, I guess. You can kind of summon objects and monsters and stuff like that. When the when the trailer first opened up, I was super stoked because like I said, I kind of like that 2D top-down style Zelda gameplay uh, from like the Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons games, Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, stuff like that. And then it immediately kind of looked more puzzly than than even those games were. And I'm not a big fan of, of puzzles in, in video games. So, for those of you that love puzzles, probably going to be a great game. It looks good. The quality of the game looks fantastic. Can't go wrong there. Uh, we also got another game I'm not super interested in, but I know how the Metroid fans feel, man. Because uh, as a Dragon Quest fan, you're only given crumbs every now and then. And uh, when you get that big trailer reveal that the game's actually coming out, it just feels so damn good. So congratulations, Metroid Prime fans. You're finally getting Metroid Prime 4. This shit was like the Half-Life 3 of probably not gonna happen in, in my books. I, I honestly didn't think there was gonna be a Metroid Prime 4 despite all the talk about it. So I'm glad you guys are finally getting your game. So, congratulations, enjoy it. I didn't get the release date on that one, because like I said, not super interested in it myself. And then the last game I'm interested in that was revealed here was the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. So, I'm not the biggest Marvel vs. Capcom guy, and I've had my time in the fighting genre. First, obviously, with uh, Fatal Fury and King of Fighters, like, 97 and stuff back in the day. Street Fighter 2 on the Super NES. And then again, when Street Fighter 4 came out, I got back into the genre. And then King of Fighters 13, stuff like that. Uh, that's back when, like, Mortal Kombat 9 was out and uh, Soul Calibur 4, those were all kind of, that was kind of the end of my era of fighting games, alright? But we're kind of in another revival of the fighting games. We got Street Fighter 6, we got the latest Mortal Kombat game, Mortal Kombat 1, uh, and then we got the new uh, Tekken game doing very well. And now, 
we've got Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. So it's not just fighting games. We got a bunch of fantastic like X-Men fighting games. We got X-Men vs. Street Fighter. We got X-Men Children of the Atom, which I'm super stoked to play on modern hardware because I've been just using MAME to play this shit, which is fun, but it'll be nice to see this in, in true HD and just looking crispy as hell. They also have, of course, Marvel vs. Capcom too, but they also have the Punisher beat-em-up game, which if you uh, watch my stream, I stream here on YouTube every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, as well as Saturday mornings, as well as Twitch, twitch.tv slash 3 Check that shit out. Tuesday and Thursday nights, we usually stream JRPGs or RPGs, longer games. Saturday mornings are for Dragon Quest X streams. And Sunday nights have been fun with friends, co-op streams with my buds. And we recently just played the Punisher beat-em-up game like two weeks ago. So check that out if you're interested in seeing what that game's all about. Absolutely fantastic beat-em-up game. Excited to... Uh, Get that on modern hardware as well. We need more arcade uh, compilations on modern hardware, especially from Sega, damn it. There's so many like Outrunners. We need a good quality version of Outrunners on modern hardware. Also, there's, I think it's called Thunderblade, that that uh, helicopter game. That game's badass, man. We need, we need all those kind of like late 90s, early 2000s Sega arcade games in a bundle. Do it now, Sega. Do it now. All right. Now, I guess to the main event, we already talked about it a bit, but Dragon Quest 3 HD2D Remake is coming out, man. November 14th. I am so excited for this. The game looks phenomenal. Like, honestly, I can see why. Originally, I was like, you know, if it's not going to be all three, I they have no excuses as to why it's taking so long. No, this game looks crisp, all right? I've also heard that they added a memory feature. Kind of similar to like Final Fantasy 2, how when you talk to NPCs, you can save uh, words and phrases to help you figure out where to go next, making this a little bit more accessible than any of the other versions of Dragon Quest 3. I did a video not too long ago talking about how they could improve Dragon Quest 2 for an HD 2D remake. And I said, like, they could do those pink or purple exclamation points on the map, showing you where to go, like they did with Dragon Quest XI, and they kind of have that in Dragon Quest X as well. So, instead of going for that route, they kind of wanted to keep some of that detective work to the player. So, instead of having those markers on the map, you instead of get to memorize dialogue, and then you can go back to it and look at your memory, and... Use those hints to determine where you should go next. This is an optional feature. You can turn it off if you'd like. There's also three different difficulties in the game. There's Draki Quest, which is like the easy mode. There would be no grinding whatsoever. You'd be able to just waltz through the game and experience the story. For those of you that don't have as much time as others. And then, of course, there's Dragon Quest mode, which is the normal difficulty. I'm told is fairly easy. Kind of like Dragon Quest XI. You can get through the first couple dungeons without having to grind. Um, and then there might be some grinding later on, but not a whole lot of grinding. I would imagine you'd have to grind before Baramos, just like you do in the original, uh, Super Famicom remakes, but pretty streamlined otherwise. And then there's, of course, Draconian Quest, which is gonna be the harder mode for the more old-school fans who are used to grinding and actually love the grind. So, you've got three different options to play through the game that way, which is pretty sweet. I have heard some of the job classes have been tweaked a bit to improve upon them and make them a little bit better and modernized. So, I'm hoping the same thing happens to the Prince of Kanic in the Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD Remake. Also, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD Remake, I don't know if I mentioned it at the start, is coming out hopefully early next year, but it just said 2025. So, look forward to that as well. I'll have some more details on the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake to come in a later video. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy Dragon Quest content, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. And I will see you guys in the next one.